Welcome to CA Fishing. Uh, this is a short vlog I'm going to do, uh, hopefully to try and catch some perch, but really, to be honest, to catch anything that is at the lake that I'm fishing, which today is the Royal Bartles Fishery near Ascot. Uh, Dad is also fishing, but he's just there, and he is filming uh, a different episode. So we're actually doing two separate episodes today, but let's go over and just check out what his setup is, and then I'll show you my setup, uh, and I've got to get some lunch on as well. What's your setup, Dad? Cold hands, <laughs> cold feet. I see that you've got the nice, the uh, real camouflage bucket over there. Uh, camouflage bucket, camouflage chair. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look at that. That's proper carpy, that. No, it's been repaired. Look, no, 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 it's been repaired. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Hand stitched. Yeah. You don't get many of those. No, that's handmade, that, yeah. You call a real stitch up. <laughs> so, talk through your setup. This, this will be a stitch up because John the bailiff told us to come down this way. If we don't catch, this will be a stitch up. We'd better catch, John. Go, do, you, go through gear first. What uh, have you got? The standard two Avon rods. And John said fish so close it's unbelievable. So I bought my gear right back from the swim here. And if you, you can probably maybe see, I, I don't know if you see the line on the on the tip, it's going straight down vertically into the water. On that I've got a strangling great big log worm and a BB. Left hand rod, I've got down right down here for a perch. I'm fishing here for anything basically. And down there, uh, some sort of brambles and stuff going in the water. And anywhere there's a bit of structure is good for perch. That one's got prawn on it, these are the prawns. Just frozen prawns out the supermarket. Just about got the ice out. If they've got ice in them, they float. So make sure they're thawed out before you put them on. And then I was digging in the garden the other day and I thought I'm not buying any worms if I can find some in the garden. They're just regular earthworms at this. I'll show them to you just so you know what we you were best to do. If you're digging worms, you don't get good ones. If these aren't, they're not great ones. You know what I mean? But if I'm cutting those up, and that's what they do for perch in the matches, they cut this type of worm up. Well, they cut good worms up. I'm not cutting good worms up. They cut these worms up, put them in as bait, and I'm going to do this down the margins later on, and then put a decent one on the hook. So, pays you to really to go in a tackle shop and get one tub of worms for hook baits and dig your others for ground bait. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, this. Don't waste money, guys. Frozen maggots. You got, you've, got, you've got stacks of bait with you. <laughs> yeah, quite for, for me, I have got quite a lot, but I've been yeah. on a few sessions uh, on the rivers, and the river's been flooded, so we're left over with a pint or two of maggots. It doesn't matter because dead maggots are really good in the winter. So you're um, you're filming your other episode over here. No, I am indeed. Which I'm, will be on TO Fishing. We don't know whose will be first, but we will camera. the first fish. Exactly, it's down to catch it. It's one of those anything days. Yeah. Got bread, got hot dogs, and I've got my BCB cook set in here, and I'm just gonna fire up this. So this is my little spirit burner, Trandia spirit burner, which has methylated spirits in it. Just there. Goes in there. Watch your fingers. That's lit now, you can't really see that, but I can feel the heat of that, that's lit. That just folds over like that. Got a little lid with it too, to make it burn for a bit longer. A bit quicker, sorry. Place that on there. And it takes about 15, 20 minutes to boil. But the benefit is I can leave that now, watch the rods, and that should boil nice and easy. Well guys, it's been about nearly two hours now and I've had absolutely no bites. Uh, I've got a full belly though, but what I'm gonna do is actually chuck out uh, the Deeper Pro Plus that I've got here. I thought I'd bring it along with me because it's been a pretty cold day and there's not gonna be much fish activity, so I wanna be able to locate the fish. Uh, so I'm actually gonna have a couple of casts with this, see if I can find some fish. If there's none here, I'm probably gonna move lakes. I don't know what Dad's gonna do, I'll just go and speak to him now. Getting anything, Dad? Well, I am getting some form of bite. Frostbite. <laughs> Nothing, not a nibble, not a twitch, not a tweak, nothing. 
I'm so gonna, I'm going to chuck my deeper around. I think. Do you want me to go? Cast well, around here. Listen, I can't believe I'm not getting any movement down here on the left by this bush because that's a classic place in the winter where fish would be. Throw it through this. If, if there's yeah. no fish here, I might have a move. I think. I don't know where you're going to go. Going to copy me? I'm going to follow the fish. I think. No, I'll follow you. <laughs> Well, I've had a couple of ch casts out and to be honest what I've seen is that the fish are quite spread out uh, so it has spotted some fish but they're not actually I want them quite clumped so I've cast in the snags I've cast out to the island I've cast into the middle of the lake uh, and all the fish seem to be spread out and where we've put our bait down um, you'd think there'd be a bit more better grouping of fish but there isn't so plan is I'm, I'm going to go to uh, another lake there's there's three lakes I believe on this fishery uh, I'm going to go to a different lake and have a go just chuck the deeper around again in the, in the snags um, you don't people say about it spooking fish uh, if you want to you can avoid that by casting beyond where you want to fish so if I'm trying to fish in the margins I'm not going to cast it in the margins it will make a splash and spook the fish I'll cast it out to the lake and then I'll tow it back into the margins so that it gently goes over through the snags and things like that um, had a, obviously people do say sometimes oh that's cheating you know you can't use that that's cheating uh, I don't see any boat fishermen out there saying that it's cheating using a uh, echo sounder or a, you know a sonar uh, and also the deeper doesn't have a hook on it so I'm not quite sure how it can be cheating if it's not got a hook on it yes you can argue that it's uh, taking away watercraft and things like that but at the end of the day you still need watercraft to catch the fish you still need to read the water look for bubbles look for fizzing look for fish rising uh, you can watch for bird life but you, of course you still need your watercraft but I don't believe it's cheating that's my personal opinion so I'm over here at lake 2 it took quite a while to get all the gear out uh, to then move back over here but I've only it's a bit of a risk I've only got probably an hour and a half maybe two hours of sunlight left of, I say sunlight it's England look at it it's overcast but of light left I've only got a few hours so uh, perch do tend to feed around dusk time so I'm not generally too late uh, but I do want to I don't want to just don't go in any old swim and just put some bait in because I'm, a, I'm wasting my bait and uh, B the fish might not even be there <gasps> fish rise look at that uh, so I just tied this on with some really strong braid pretty tough spinning rod and I've just done a loop just a loop knot there and just hitched it onto the deeper tie out point uh, it's fairly easy to do all right, let's get cracking. I've got to turn it on. To turn the deeper on, just chuck it in the water. That's how it turns on automatically. Open up your phone. Sick background, by the way. TA fishing. And find the deeper app. Got a dude fishing on the cover. And this Pro Plus version is Wi-Fi, so it works via Wi-Fi. That doesn't mean it's using Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi out here. It's in the lake. But it means it's using my phone's Wi-Fi to connect to the deeper. If the fish were down here, I'm not going to let my deeper plop straight in the water down here. I'm going to cast out into the lake and drag it across into this snag and that just prevents you from spooking those fish. So I just like to do a little toss. There it is, it's out there. Hopefully you guys can see that, where the rings are. Ooh, fish straight away. More bunch. Instantly I can tell this lake obviously has more fish in this particular swim. Mm, okay, okay. Well, I know they're down the centre of the lake. I'm going to try another swim. Deeper is in. Plenty of snags here. Plenty of snags there. Let's lob out beyond the snags. Don't mind if I speak fish out there because I'm not going to be fishing out there. Another fish right up near the top this time. That, that could be perch. That could be perch, guys. Look at that lot. What? Can you see that, guys? Look at this lot. Okay, I found a shoal here. That's a shoal of fish. Not as many that side. Okay, I'm going to still bait up that side, but I'm 100% going to bait up under this tree. Right, before I set up the rods, guys, to show you the bait, I've got maggots. I've got maggots there. They're frozen ones, so they're dead. We'd add frozen, but there's maggots. I've then got two mil pellets. The, we use the scretting ones. You can buy them in bulk from scretting. They're really, really handy. Two mil pellets. They're good to pad out your ground bait. Then I've got... Morrison's prawns. Prawns aren't that cheap, but they're, they're supermarket baits. So you can get them, they're widely available, and they are a cracking prawn bait. So I've got to feed with that ground bait on the bottom with those and the maggots, and these are going to be my hook baits, plus I'll throw out some loose feed with these as well. Okay. I'm 
Right, now I've thrown bait out. I'm going to try and keep it pretty tight. So I'm going to tight. I'm going to bait one area, that area there in particular. I'm going to bait quite heavily. Oh, there we go. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. You want a fairly decent prawn for your hook bait. Something like that is, uh, is a good size. The size of the hook, I'm using a size 4 barbless hook. Rules that this fishery are barbless. I'm just going to feed that around, curl it around the hook, push it through. That's that done. Oh, that's so dad, he's just overfilled the spool. So much line. Always overfills the spools. Look at it. Trying to get his money's worth, that's why. Letting it sink, bail arm open. It's quite shallow here. Using another book binder, plastic book binder that Dad uses for bobbins. Put that on the line. Turn the bite arm on. Same setup as the other one, exactly. It's got the split shot, eight inches hook, and that's going to be a prawn again, but I'm going to touch ledger it, so I'm going to hold the line all the time. And then if I feel a bump, where am I going? Ah, hook in the arm. If I feel a bump, I've got to, I've got to strike. You've got to be really quick when you touch ledgering. That's a good prawn there. You want like a classic prawn shape, curled that matches the curve of the hook, if you see. Pretty much matches it. Get these. Yep, that'll do. Screw it. Boom. Now it's just a case of hit and hold, or sit and wait and hit and hold. It's a springy line which doesn't do any good. So wind up tight to the split shot. Don't move it. Yes, fish, 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 fish. Sorry guys, I only just turned the camera on. Witching hour. Yes, get in. It's not gonna set the world alight guys, but look how fat its belly's getting. These perch are getting big now. Coming in sort of late winter time. What an awesome fish. And they're on the bite, so I'm not gonna have this one out for much longer because I wanna get that prawns back out there. Usually, bite time in winter is literally half an hour spell, so I know they're on the feed. I think Dad's had some bites as well where he is, but I'm pleased that I've found the fish and I've located where they are. What a species. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. This is a good one, this is a good one. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. This is a nice perch. Holy moly, 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 oh, my God, oh, my God. Guys, this is a good perch. This is a good perch. This is a really good perch. Perch of the day, anyway, at least. And his hook is hanging there. Oh my god, I hit him. Get him in there. Yes! Come on. Get in. Boys. GoPro off. I've got a warrior. I've got a fat perch. Oh, this is a this is a fatty. This is an absolute. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, that's a better fish. Look at the tail on it. Absolute boost. What a beast. That is a B-E-A-U-T. Thank you very much, sir. I don't know what he'll go, guys, but either way, he's a pretty good fish and I'm happy. I'm gonna chuck my prawn back in and see if I can get another. Well guys, it's getting dark now and we have to be off the fishery. So, luckily, I'm so pleased I made that swim change and lake change because it made a big difference. Just baited up a small area, didn't have to put loads of bait in and I caught two perch, so really pleased with that. Uh, nice scrap and light tackle. My, fortunately, my GoPro ran out of battery on one of the other fish, uh, but I couldn't get him in. I couldn't press record in time, which is a bit annoying. But hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got lots more perch videos and general kind of lure fishing videos on here, as well as other species. Uh, also, be sure to download our free, our brand new, our free digital fishing magazine. It's a bi monthly magazine called The Awesome Angler, and it focuses on all round fishing, sea fishing, fly fishing, coarse fishing, freshwater, everything like that. It's really, really good. Check it out. There's links in the description. Uh, and also be sure to subscribe to our other YouTube channel, TA Outdoors, which features lots of kind of bushcraft and shooting videos as well. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you again on TA Fishing.